Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everyone? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Meow, meow, meow. You are so That's... much right now. I Right? <laughs> I'm exactly what I need to be to be Too a successful much streamer. right now. To be a successful streamer, one must be absolutely heckin' obnoxious. Did, did you make sure we have video this time? Uh, oh, we definitely had video last time. We just didn't have game last time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? And don't worry, I see it there on the screen. Game recognized game, you know what I mean? So, we're going to continue from where we left off yesterday, or slightly before where we left off yesterday, um, to fill in anyone that has missed some things, and also to fill in Nye, because you haven't been here for any of them. Um, My wife! Also, say hello to Nye. Al's wife. My wife. Um, basically, we left college, came back home, we being May the cat. Left college, came back home, things have been going crazy, Greg is the shit, Greg is dating Angus, and they're gay together, and it's great. May has a crush on B. B is like a total punk goth that smokes cigabuts, but they're not really cigabuts, they're fake cigabuts. And there's crazy shit going on in May's head, she has crazy fucked up dreams, which apparently has something to do with a cult we found in a mine, and they want to sacrifice <laughs> us to some sort of multi-dimensional asshole in the ground. Um, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> that's the basic gist of everything, <clears throat> summed up in less than a minute. Essentially, yeah. You get all that? Good. Get it, yep. get it good. <laughs> that's some fresh air, all right. Also, Angus has a robot voice, because he just seems like the type. <laughs> he was a Boy Scout. <laughs> God damn it, Static! <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Conjunctivitis.com. Now there's a site for sore eyes. As someone oh, who's no. had conjunctivitis twice in a month. Okay, I have a horrible joke time. The neighbor's kids asked me to join them in their water fight. I agreed, but I'm waiting for the water to boil. Oh, yeah. I've oh, seen no. that one. <laughs> and that's what you missed on the night <laughs> on night in the woods. It is. Well, yep, that's some fresh air. All right. Sniff, sniff. And sniff, water. Sniff, sniff. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully, it's not a river or pee. Can river, cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. Let's go. So May is basically like dying because she doesn't sleep and doesn't get rested at all and is losing her mind. She has awful, horrible nightmares all the time, forever. All the time, always, forever and ever. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Blum, 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 blum. Yes. And has wait, that's you missed. Good night, everybody. Says Static. Hi, AJ. And has only ever eaten pizza this whole time. Oh yeah, that's true. Hi, AJ. Oh, and there we go. Well, it's been a fun time. game. <laughs> Yep, I'll hold off on the puns because this part of the game is, like, legit so good right now. I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. That's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. I'm trying so hard since not to be angry. It got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long ago. Long before I got here. So long hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die. I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. 
maniacal laughter. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You have to do like this shit. <laughs> you know I can't understand you, right? You have to do like this Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... Heck the heck off. May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. <coughs> you want me to carry you? No, I, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I, I bet he did. That did. Boss, go lie down. Oh, he looks significantly less dead. For sure. Which is great. Ideal, even. Shh, listen. Do you smell that? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. <laughs> I made the same joke last night. Dang it, Static. I remember. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. That is a knock. That is our pizza. <gasps> pizza. Guys, there's Zaw. pizza. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. <laughs> <laughs> could you could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night? I I can try to make it out. <laughs> Rock busting makes me feel good. No, I can like ellipses. Ellipses. Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah or no? Yeah, let's do this. Let's heck and do it. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's the fins on the back of a dolphin. <laughs> Thank you. There. Thank you, those. There were people in the woods. They tried to kill you. <laughs> That's a static level bad joke. <laughs> okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I'm guessing we can jump on these. <gasps> yeah. Heck yeah. 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 Oh, yes. no. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna heck it up. Too much pressure, too much pressure! I'm sad that we didn't get to start this one <gasps> with base. The gods of base have heard you. Yes. They heard your cries for funk. And they have delivered. <laughs> and then in comes the strings. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. It's kind of like that part in Metroid that you the jumping on things to get it. Seems 100% <laughs> first try. Well, well. I hate you. <laughs> no, I hate you. <laughs> one of my, par my previous co-workers came up to me one night when we were working third shift and he goes, did I ever tell you the joke about the two holes in the ground? And I was like, no. He goes, oh, well, well. <laughs> Fuck. And I'm like, I'm done with you. I'm done with <laughs> the you. The 8-bit movement. We're never talking <laughs> again. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? Saving you. I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Why is that? Why does it go into... I'm not going to ask. Sounds like it. I don't trust him. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? 
Hold on. I like that he didn't reply. He just ran off. Hey, hey. Yeah. What's that, germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. Or a crossbow to shoot me with. <laughs> Could be either. I'm really concerned Could that germ. Either way. I'm concerned germ's gonna come back, and there's like the cultists are with him, and like that's I'm his like out. his family or something. What is he doing out here? He lives here, in the woods. Weezer is my favorite band. He looks like he belongs in Weezer, to be honest. He does, though. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. They're road sodas. Oh, no. You need the sugar and caffeine. Also, cocaine. Germ, why are you like this? It's a version of coke. Oh, Angus, one uh, million percent belongs in Weezer. Oh, uh, anyone else before we get far away from as well? Yo! Jeremy, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. Just knocks it over. I got dynamite. Oh my god! What? Why? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Germ is gonna kill himself trying to seal He's the gonna knock a whole guys. town underground. I don't fucking trust him. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Or is he? It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense! I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. Oh no, buffer. Okay, good. Okay, we good. <laughs> oh, alright. Oh no, I'm buffering too. Okay, oh boy. Oh, alright. Uh, we, I think we had a hiccup there for a second. No kidding. <clears throat> no, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> Holy shit, Weezer got hardcore. <laughs> uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. It is my primary directive to have killed them. Screw them. I don't even close. believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Oh, I know this thing. Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. I know about the trolley problem because of the good place. Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. <coughs> None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and we are dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating over tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. I don't think I didn't appreciate it. Hello, hell! The appropriate reaction. Bungie's <laughs> game is so loud.
understand what all just happened. There, is that any better? No, you cannot drink my water. No, Alice is just quiet. Listen! Also that, eat the mic. Thanks, Static. I hope it stopped. <laughs> I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Hard. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at wherever you are. I love how belligerent Al just became. <laughs> Good. I only have two settings. <laughs> Zero and fifty. <laughs> B, you're definitely something. Something sexy. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. I'm trying to get you to go away. Goodbye, cat. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least better friend would buy but I'm what you got and I'm glad yep there it is now I'm just gonna erase all that me oh shit ah uh, guys I was just kidding about a lot of that I'm really tired I don't know what I'm saying log off May log off show me what you got <laughs> I want to see what you got We like what you got. <gasps> okay, Witch all right. Witch dagger! Witch dagger! I want that heckin' poster. Or like, I want it on a t-shirt. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, everything is just shapes. Everything is shapes. I hate it. Everything is shapes. Oh, yeah. It's time to get swifty. Could play some bass. Slap it a bass. Oh wait, no, you haven't heard the songs. Come here. No, it's fine. I'll listen to them later. No, no, no. I'll listen to them now. Die anywhere else? I don't have time. But you do have time. Come <laughs> here. It's a really good song. Right, put this on your face. It's not going to be a great song because I'm probably going to hack it up. Yeah, but that's probably...
Oh no. Really good song, right? How wow. Hehe, <laughs> that said Mayday. Do I enjoy making courthouse puns? Guilty. Oh god damn it. Uh, it's okay, I won't look. No pressure. A slice of apple pie is two fifty in Jamaica and three dollars in the Bahamas. Oh, These buddy. are the pie rates of the Caribbean. I've seen that one, which is why I'm willing to forgive you. Oh boy. Suddenly oh, everyone. Boy. Oh, a message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. We'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice message last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork. Lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Weather service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Well, that's ominous. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Fucking shark. I love that shark. I do know some bad egg puns, but they're pretty rotten. Hi, Norco. Oh, also, hi, Bestie. Hi, Bestie. Epilogue. Stars. Cool. I'm glad we saved this for tonight. Because mm. we would have been up for quite some time yesterday. Truth, truth. Hey, honey, is that you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't message the group last night because I was just trying to fall asleep, but I couldn't. But we finally saw both of the parents in one room during the part where she's in the church. Oh, yeah, we did. And I just had that If you want to talk. What's up, Mom? Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Good enough to fuck your mother! Be your That's really mother. inappropriate right now. Probably. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom, or why? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because. Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom, or... I don't even know if I can tell you. I feel like that one's more accurate. Why? I'll understand, I promise. You definitely will not. Or she I don't will, even it'll know be horrifying. how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hun? It's not a school thing, Mom. There's a fucking cult in town. Yeah, I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. I wish we were pregnant. I wish that was all it was. Oh, God. Right? Ma, just... Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to do. Yas, bitch. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <sighs> yes. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Look at my smile. Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. You know, we have pizza. You're still reading the same <laughs> it's been book? sitting there. <laughs> we'll get some in the Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. 
Ross says, God, May is so cute. I mean, I don't know oh. what's gone on in the story so far, but is anyone else really worried your parents are part of this cult? Uh, yeah. A little bit. It's very... <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. It's very like He's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure, or maybe later. Uh, kind of, yeah. Far from here, the ocean's roaring, far away across the din. I was wrong. I didn't want to hear I hear, hear it. the Lord call their children, <laughs> bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through You're welcome, the barley. Static. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children, bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. It sounds like a hymn, darling. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it is. It is nice. All right. Bye, Mom. Hmm. 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 Well, I wait. Well, I wasn't, but now I am. Thanks for that, Nye. Ha ha ha. Wait, what happened? Nice. Oh nice. yeah, that. Oh, okay. Cool. The thought occurred to me last night, Lamau Al, but there was so much happening that like I didn't have the brain thoughts to verbalize it. I feel you on a spiritual level. So many things happened is the thing. <gasps> Look at the snowflakes. Dad's outside. Hey Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Workers are supposed to be able to talk. Workers are supposed to be able to have a life. Workers are supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is... Tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. Aw, oh, Dad, same bro. Man, I really love my furniture. My recliner and I go way back. Damn it, static. <laughs> Except for the union know. thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. The tooth! What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. Oh, I'm sorry, that's you. I'm Stop awake. reading my thoughts, May. I gotta dig them out of the closet, though. You are right. <laughs> uh, see, see if they even work still. You know, like me. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Bitch, Dad. <laughs> dum dee dum dum. Oh, it's Auntie Mall Cop. A small fries sounds so good, though. Hey, what are you doing here? 
I'm working, May. Sure. Uh, What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh, or what kind of calls? What kind of calls? Tell me. Question. You haven't seen my Misty 120s, have you? Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I never considered that. May. Okay, fine, thanks, bye. Rocco. I had to jump over her head. Yeah, it's <laughs> important. I, I understand. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to talk to heckin' everyone. Hey, May. What's up, Selmers? You okay? Static crowbar redeemed suggest a game. Oh! Near Automata. Whoa, Near Automata D ending. Near Automata E ending because I screwed up the first suggestion. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Static, you got it. I'll put it on the list for people to vote upon. After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some mind grade meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. Those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. Did not know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. <laughs> Anytime, neighbor. Uh, no poem? poem for us? Selmer's, your poems keep me going, man. My dude. Oh, man, come on. Boo. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slipping all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. <laughs> I'm tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. Sounds like quit and talk to me. I'm sick of you undermining me. There's a mine under the town. It's a bad idea. It's that's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? <laughs> okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I uh, think we can all agree it's not... It's too cold for... Oh, boy. I have missed my line. Sure did. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen! You should just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you do agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ah, uh, I'd rather die. Damn. I'd rather break my own femur femurs with a cinder block. Holy All shit. right, well, now that's settled. What are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> I barely take painkillers anymore that aren't Excedrin migraine because I know it'll just kill just about anything. Move out, troops. Oh, there they go, getting food. Including my organs. <laughs> my ideas are always the most important, says AJ. You're absolutely correct. Um, isn't all mining technically undermining? Dang it, static. Pun? <laughs> Come yes, it's a pun. Your <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Thanks, Ra. You're that welcome, was... Couch. Lenore, you woke the boss go up. You woke the boss go up with your pun. No, Lenore. She went to sniff Bosco's <laughs> nose and woke him up, and he snapped oh. at her. 
she's not pregnant anymore. Or I mean, she still, she still is. She just has another kid. She just has a baby raccoon as well. Raccoon. Oh, wait, we should check the billboard. Fat Pocket Pawn. The, the, I bet they offer the like a dollar. Yep. It's worth 75, so I'll give you three. Possum Springs, more like Awesome Springs. Also, Casey Hartley is still missing, but now we know is confirmed dead. Well. Because they sacrificed Casey. Yeah, just well, that's like. that's horrible. Oh no, my pun woke up the puppers. No, no, it was the, it was the cat. <laughs> I just wanted to blame you. Hello, kitty. There's a feral raccoon. There are regular So I'm going to split part-time. Ooh, how do you... <laughs> how do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. Spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I uh, guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh, though. I laughed, too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Fuck. <laughs> we can all put in requests. Coffee. Cigarette. Coffee. Tobacco stick. Java. Sticks. On fire. Just puttering around. Old pickaxe. Says open, but she said she wasn't opening it today. Yo, it's a janitor, bro. Hey, it's you. Yup, yup. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. I also happen to lead a cult part-time. Oh my god. <laughs> so what's it been like going home again? <laughs> things like, uh, things like you remember them? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? I'm psychic. Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. This is exactly what it's like to get together with friends on, as an adult. Jesus. <laughs> I love sticks. As I handed my dad his 50th birthday card, he looked at me with his tears in his eyes and said, You know, one would have been enough. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> I love that his has beak has a beard. <laughs> oh my god, static. I will get us to 420 if I have to do it myself. Oh, that's right. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. Like a macaroni picture. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Selmer's game tonight. Oh, sorry. Smelter's game. Selmer's don't play nothing. <laughs> see you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a bum shoulder. Wait, how did you know my name? Dude knows too much. Janitor, janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. True. Party Ooh. barn. <sighs> oh. Do the snelkin. Yo, who's this guy? Well, if fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've, uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors. But it's nice to take a beat. Take a break. Take a beat. Also, take a beak. I'm not here to judge. 
And I like the cold. I'm cold blooded. Cold as ice. Also, it's brisk today. Willing to sacrifice. I was going to say it's life. Nestle today, but we're off brand. We're bought by brisk. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. <laughs> but then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. Bruce Willis doesn't endorse anything off-brand. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Sorry. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where's Jamie? My god. <laughs> there are laws, you know. I'm gonna put my arms down now. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. I feel like I should have given him a Canadian accent just seeing the frickin' flannel. He's funny, eh? Okay. Numb arms. <laughs> well, that was... Let's go thing. see if Angus is working. Angus, we got band practice, brah. No, he's not working. Probably a band practice. Beaver priest. Beaver priest. Brain eaters. Beaver priest. Taco buck. Holy crap! Uh. Ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since they got rid of all those snakes in the diner. <laughs> no! We got internet! Let's go for snakes. Or did snakes out of snakes? Why are they on board of tourism? <laughs> the owners were religious. <laughs> and they called in a preacher <laughs> from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Nobody knows where they came from. <coughs> <laughs> I'm tired of all these motherfucking snakes inside this motherfucking diner. Like, <laughs> or why they moved in, but they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? Oh my God, they deliver. That was a wild ride. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. <sighs> As oh, we bitch. should. Who are you? Taco Buck now hiring. Taco at Artesians. Delivery drivers. All shifts. Eight bucks an hour. So, you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky. Falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Well, your ex is a... <laughs> Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. We had. I wish we had a Krispy Kreme closer to us than like an hour plus away, I think. <laughs> I'm so doomed now that I know that. Taco Buck, dine in, dine out, we deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Get your face down in some tacos and just go like... Oh wow, that sounds that's what people, amazing. That's what people love to do. Watching your health? Try our all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Agreed, I also Get refuse. out of here, kid, I'm working. Banging on the trash cans. Tapping on the street lights. Yeah, think big. Boom. And if anyone can name what show both of those songs are from, 
Um, Greg. Greg. G -g -g -g. Swoop in for a bite. <laughs> oh, we still got the fruits ghost, even though it's well past the season. It's fine. Turtle power. BRB. Oh, shit. I didn't even. You said, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. <laughs> well, look who's alive. Look, well, look who's live and well, you two. Yeah. Yeah. Crimes? <laughs> you want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Gonna heck and band it up. Birthday zone. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one, and we made copies. How'd he even get a key? He's Greg. You don't have to ask. He's Greg! I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh, yeah. He had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Uh, it means low key. They're having a quickie before they come over to band practice. Even if it's a quickie, wrap that sticky. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Got him, Angus. I'm sorry, what was the two options? Do you not think they'll last or something? Or Greg's a nice person? Greg's a nice person? Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible. And he has, like, zero attention span. None. None at all. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Jeez. Am I Greg? Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Angus. <laughs> Heck it, it's canon now. Canon now. <laughs> Before you came back. They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. Alright, whatever, bitch. So, like, how are you? I'm good. I don't even know. I don't even know! I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Uh, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Dude, I get those, like, every five to seven years. Might be. Do you think we're safe? Absolutely not. No one no is ever really idea. safe. You gotta be like this. <laughs> Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, it was apparently a death cult of dads. Whole cosmic horror thing. Is this Dream Daddy? No. Right? <laughs> that is a cult of dads. The one true ending. Uh, the whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope. But between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And then there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch the other night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for my snoofle. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Weird question. How do you, like, get up here every- How do you, like, get up every day? Go open the store. Keep doing it. I don't really have a choice, do I? 
mean, you definitely do. Yeah. Guess not. You definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there right out of sight. Following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store. And our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. And I'm doing free study courses online. And I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. <laughs> yep. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. <coughs> we can fix the world together! Yep. Fix it right up. <laughs> Free SETI, I'll take three, please. <coughs> we fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. <laughs> Ugh. Guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors. To get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. They fix a lot of things, actually. Or, like, drop Jeez. an elevator on them. That works, too, I guess. Didn't the furnace go boom? Yes, it did. So. How good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May. Do you know anything about... What? We should do, like, a road trip. To where? Somewhere far away from here. Yes. As far Anywhere as else. The car to break down. Out west. Out west. Like. Into the ocean. It gets all flat. That it does. You can go where it's really flat. They're gonna be SLC punks. And they sell barbecue. Yeah. And you can see like the world's largest pierogi. Yeah, that. that sounds amazing. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. <clears throat> or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. I wonder if we're gonna get a new song. God damn this door! I think God already has. <laughs> <laughs> there they are! Hey guys, is my fly up? Sub nerds! It's you who are the nerds. How did you get Angus? How did you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. It happens. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, he did in real life, too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Oh? Uh, yeah? I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. We should, like... Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably no. Would they believe us if we did? Yeah, I don't see parents who th want to, like, believe that their kid is probably still alive out there somewhere wants a bunch of other kids that barely knew their kid being like, hey, so a bunch of cults of... Like, a cult of a bunch of dads sacrificed your son to an asshole in the ground. Not to mention, what if they're part of it? <sighs> And they kill us right there on the spot. Let's Anyone could be part of this in this town. I mean, tell them what? God, it's just like hot fuzz. I was the greater totally good. That. <clears throat> the greater good. 
Uh, okay, Yen. Yeah. Hmm. Good point. So, like, <laughs> what do we do? About Casey? No, about the band. No, like, in general. <sighs> Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. We could be part of it. Maybe we're a sleeper agent. Cults have those, right? I also considered that since May was fucked up for the entirety of this game. Can you just be normal for like one day? May is just like straight up MK Ultra. I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. Oh, that attitude. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night. When I was down there last night. I, like, made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. I mean, when a supernatural force lives in a hole in the earth, anything is possible. Truth. And the thing down there... Korok. ...told me nothing would save me forever. Yeah. Wait, it was, like, talking to you? Oh, yeah. It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know Okay, static. Okay. But anyway, like... Nothing is going to save us forever. A lot of things can save us today. That's really pretty, May. Ah, uh, thanks. I totally made it up. Like, right on the spot last night. I said it before. You're good with Doom. Doom, Doom, Doom. So anyway, song and pizza. We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Decent. Decent. Descent. Decent. Well, that was a bra. What? That's it? What? What? Exactly. AJ, okay. exactly. What? what? Hold on. There's, there's got to be like post credits or something. Something. I'm Something's glad I'm going not the only on one here. that seemed abrupt too, because I haven't seen anything. So I was like, maybe this is fine <laughs> when it suddenly cut, and then everyone yelled "what," and I felt better. I wouldn't call it a happy ending. More like a "we're all you eventually doomed, so we might as well live every day" ending. Get back in there, champ. Pep talk and never drop. The trash. Get back in there, champ. <laughs> well, what a happy ending, I guess. I mean, that is the healthiest way to face knowing that cosmic horror exists in your universe. Just kind of, we're all doomed someday, but not today, so let's have pizza. Yarn spinner dialogue system. My standards for a happy ending were lo very low because I didn't want any of the four to end up dying. That's fair. I really want to know more about Germ, where they got the dynamite. Yeah, right? So much that we don't know about Germ. Like, it's not just that you miss things. It's like Germ didn't really, like, wasn't much there in the story. He just kind of... Existed. Yeah. You think he actually sealed up the well? I don't know. People would have heard an explosion if he did. I mean, it would have been loud. Dynamite makes a big boom. I really hope Jerem was just a weird kid. You missed the yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, Static. It was way more abrupt than anyone could have ever expected. Yeah, dude. Like, practically almost mid-sentence. Like, mid-sentence is the only way you could have made that more abrupt. It was basically, all right, everyone, last Wait, night sucked. Let's go get pizza. Achievement unlocked at the end of everything. To drain me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. Oh. 
Hold the fucking phone. Did I just see Tim Schaefer? Thank you, Static. Uh, honestly, I wasn't paying that close attention. I was still reeling. I still want to know how the janitor Bombshell. knew your name. There is so much. There are so many other things we could Can have this done. be continued? There are so many other things we could have done, though. Right. Never drink again or go in public. Everything feels bad. F the cops. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. Weird Autumn, die anywhere else, Greg, B. Greg rules, okay. This feels like a game that needs a sequel, but won't get one. I feel like we're still missing things we could have got. Mm -hmm. Almost certainly. I wonder if this has multiple endings. You think maybe you guys accidentally stumbled upon the good ending where everyone lives? I don't know, but I'm about to heck and figure it out. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go straight to heck and Google with this. Because I need to know now. We also only have 8 out of 31 achievements. Oh my god. Well, each song probably has an achievement. Yeah. The fact that that took almost exactly an hour is pretty cool. Spoilers. That's fine. I won't read them aloud. She used the spoiler function to hide that stuff. Start the paragraph with... Like people won't see it. Uh, spoiler tagged itself. I'm closing the spoiler. Type in. Okay. Far left side of the game world. As for the janitor, he's some kind of supernatural benevolent entity for sure. Is he God? Who knows? Wait, we could have seen Germ at the end? Uh, I know there's a lot of optional content, but it seems like I missed a lot of my first playthrough, and there are achievements in the game. I feel I should have gotten more than I had. I gave the tooth to Dad, but I didn't get the, the get the tooth achievement. But basically, all I want to know is if there are different endings. Is the ending I got? We didn't do anything about the weird beast. The old people were sacrificing kids to, but we killed all of them by blocking the exit and oxygen supply. And the next day ended, and everyone deciding that band practice and pizza was a good way to end the day. But I went down the B path because I feel like she's the realist character. So I basically was dependent on B. Like, she held me when some walls caved in and was trying to be super inspirational to her. And even got the proximity achievement. But I feel like the ending was super normal. And there were so many unanswered questions. Like, who is the janitor? Is he part of the cult? Is he supernatural omnipotent being? I need to know. Anyways... Uh, I'd just like some tips on getting the rest of the ending if there are multiple endings, and I need tips for achievements. I got the Vermin achievement, B route achievement, and like one other I can't remember. Edit. Also, I want to know where to find Germ. Anyone know where he is throughout all the days? Okay, so yeah, Germ is usually at the parking lot on the far, far left side of the game world. Okay, so we could have been talking to Germ more. Unless there's a golden ending available after you replay the game or at 100% completion, I think it's just a case of the ending being a bit anticlimactic, actually. Kickstarter backer, Tim Schaefer. Tim motherfucking Schaefer. Because Tim Schaefer does a lot of projects that are backed by Kickstarter. So he also backs a lot of projects on Kickstarter. I don't know if it was that Tim Schaefer, but in my head canon, it is. No, it honestly probably is that Tim Schaefer. Um, Tim Schaefer, I forget what projects he funded strictly through Kickstarter, but they were good. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. The game would be something entirely different if all that was explained. What happened in the mine is secondary to the real character story. Also, B is the correct choice. Yeah, I was hoping there's at least a little bit more or totally unlocked Explore Your Heart Out for uh, Free Roam after the credits. I think the reason there isn't an explore your heart out mode is because A, that's a much easier way of getting achievements because it's just like the freedom days in chapter two, but never ending. And B, May's 
headaches and horrible dreams were never involved were never solved. They didn't defeat the supernatural entity, just the old people. Her headaches were solved after she confronted the mind thing, since its singing is what caused the headache was causing the headaches. It seems as if it instead of devouring May right there and then, it will wait until the natural end of her life. Her headaches were the reason you couldn't platform on the last couple of days. The pain was so much, yet during the epilogue May can platform again. Platform? Yeah, when she was jumping up on things. There were parts in the game when she had her headache I couldn't jump. Oh. He's always been one of my gaming idols, but that just elevated him to a whole new level. Dude, Tim Schafer is really something else. Like, Psychonauts is an amazing game. Uh, I don't know if any, anyone in here played Psychonauts. No? Okay. Just me? And Annabelle watched me play it a lot. Yep. Um, oh, somebody's got a thing that impacts endings. If you want to not have spoilers, uh, tune out for a few seconds, and I'll wave at you when we're done. But uh, things that impact endings. Which friend you hung out with the most, B or Greg endings. Whether you completed Lori's friendship quests or not. Whether you talked to the teens and found all three pentagrams or not. Whether you did both of those or only one of them. Whether you did the Miracle Rats uh, plot line, small dialogue changes. Which quests you did for your friends, small dialogue changes. Which investigation quests you did, small dialogue changes. The biggest thing in, is which friend you hang out with most. While the others change the conversation in the ending, dialogue choices you make in the ending also reveal Kid. different specific dialogue. Originally, there was going to be a third friendship quest with Germ, but since that got cut, there is additional dialogue in the ends that can't be seen anymore. If you did pentagrams, Laurie and Germ, you'd get one passage. If you did pentagrams, no Laurie, but no. did do Germ, get another. If you did no pentagrams, but did Laurie and Germ, you'd get yet another. Hmm. Wow. So, that's something. Uh, loved Psychonauts. That was the second game I bought for my first gaming computer I built. My Did you play this game? None of that sounds familiar at all. Say it. It's seriously uh, though. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It sure heckin' is. Um, extras? What are our extras here? Play Longest Night, play Lost Constellation. View. Let's view some concept art first. Bosco, relax. Ooh. No. Art of the whole gang. <laughs> Original concept sketches of the characters from summer 2013. They didn't change much. They're perfect. This was the first version of Maze Street. It was the first area we made for the game, and it evolved visually quite a bit during the development. May's house, is lay house layout art. For some reason, the janitor is visiting. What? Buscuse me? Buscuse. Oh, what? The Click Clack Diner layout. Early band practice gameplay concept. Went through many versions before settling. Words, 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 words. Sharkle. I like the way that that's kind of connected. Stitched together layout of half the main town areas from early development. I like it. Party clearing concept art. Original concept for the church hill. Changed quite a bit throughout development. Play more of the game to unlock this concept art. What? Historical society interior layout. Oh my god, this fucking... <laughs> like a million there's like nine elevators a million elevators there are a few labor murals in the game which are references to the amazing WPA murals from the 30s and 40s that you can still find all over the US the original sketches for the musicians at first was undecided as to whether they would be skeletons or ghosts you can never have too many skeletons or ghosts sketches for the dance sequence with B neck tattoo visible the pentagram handshake is based on an actual thing Scott saw at a basement punk show in the late 90s I don't remember how the pentagram handshake went it was like something like I don't remember 
We're going to have to go back and do that again. Bosco, hush. Because there's a lot of concept art we don't have either. Witch dagger! Witch dagger! Original art direction for Night in the Woods Day. Original art direction pick for Night in the Woods Night. Original concept sketch for those guys. You know, those guys. Very early sketches. Someone laid a piece of pizza on it at one point. Ooh. May had a hot dog shirt, too. It was wild. The idea was to give Demon Tower an extremely mental, symmetrical logo. There are pages of these. All right, so that's all the concept art we have. Um, what else do we have under extras, though? Longest night, Lost Constellation. What is Lost Constellation? A little yes, less than a year into full-time development of Night in the Woods, we decided to do a second Longest Night game. We wanted to do something in the spirit of the first supplemental game. Small, made within a tight time frame, full of things we thought were cool. We had a lot of systems and ideas we wanted to use for Night in the Woods, and this seemed like a good way to do a test run, to experiment, and to once again have something finished. And as with Longest Night, sometimes you just need to complete something. Lost Constellation went from concept to completion in the last five weeks of 2014. Hold on, I wanna I wanna do it in order if that's the case. I agree, bro. I hate it when it's just like stuff that's actually in the game. I like it when it's the actual concepts. In December of 2013, a few short months after starting work on Night in the Woods and three weeks after our Kickstarter ended, we decided to release something small. We wanted to show that we were, in fact, making something. So many ideas just stay ideas after all. And we wanted to have something out there that we'd released. Something that just needed to complete. Sometimes you just need to complete something. The team had a little less than two weeks before all parties left to visit family for the holidays. Longest Night came out of that. Our first supplemental game, it ended up planting ideas that would grow into tall, weird idea trees later on in Night in the Woods. Fire take hold. Fire! We have a fire! We have reached that level as a civilization. Oh. I'm bored. It's like we've been here forever. Oh, we should do the longest night constellation thing. Wow, really? I haven't done that since I was six. No one has done that since we were there, we were like six. Well, I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before like eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at age 8.5. This makes so much sense. E will be. 11011. Okay, whatever, I'm done. Can we just do this thing? None of us knows enough about the constellations to even do it, B. Yeah, B. I do. Since when? I am a computer, since always. Now, listen up, dummies. We're going to school. Space school! I can't see anything. We're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Oh, hey, look at that.
Oh, how? The broken snake, the first thing that talked. This story has always made me so annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story. Oh my god, I remember that. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punch and cookies for me. <laughs> wow, I certainly missed out on all that. Oh, dude, you didn't even. Bello, Pope sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Oh god, I love this one. There were two rival popes. They had to fight to the death. And Rubello won by opening his mouth and consuming them with fire. And then he ate them. What? I mean, when you gotta become Pope. Ah! Right? Oh, I knew that one! That is amazing. I mean, historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. But he did eat them. He did eat them, yes. That is the raddest thing I have ever heard. Chomp, chomp. Whoops, I ate you. Now I'm the Pope. <laughs> oh my god. How else do you become Pope? I mean, it has happened in history, Ra. I love the idea of rival Popes. There we go. Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. Ugh, this one. My mom always said I looked like this one. That's why some popes are only pope for like two years, and then we have this pope who just never giving up the throne. Or whatever popes sit on. Pope chairs? I can see it. I sure can't. Leading so many cranky angels. Crouching hard. Pope pews. Across the sky. Okay. Technically, the Pope is also oh. the king of the Vatican City, so it is, in fact, a throne. Moving on. We're finding constellations. Yay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. shapes there and then I realized I might be the angle and I can see the shapes and you can't. Where are you seeing a shape here? What do I need to bring this? I see a whale. Bring that up to that. Right there. Alright. No problem, static. Oh, look at that. Mundy, the world fish. Back then, they thought whales were fish. And you know that the world was on one. Nah, the Earth is a furry. We Monday should. We know sign. this. The phone, phone. Nope, lost it. Wow, thanks for that knowledge bomb, Nye. She's good at those. Yeah. Oh God. Of course it is. Hey, what does that mean? Um. Wham. Well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something, but it doesn't. So. It doesn't. Um. Um. Uh, what are you doing? Whale noises. <laughs> Had a feeling. Damn it, static. I don't trust stars. They're always up to something. Oops. Stairs. I think he said stairs. Oh, stairs. Thought he said stars. Fish. A fish. And? Just a fish, pretty self-explanatory. 
Huh. Fun fact, fish is my sign. That means you're adaptable and smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means, that you're, means a you're a failure, failure in, all in all things. things. I think that means you're adaptable and smelly. Got one of those right, huh, Captain? Got a manly musk going here. You smell like that stuff I got you. Finally. Ice Hawk. It has a picture of an Ice Hawk on it. I smell quite masculine. Like an Ice Hawk. I think you smell nice, Angus. Don't act like you didn't like that one, Ra. <laughs> My son's math teacher called him average. I think he's mean. Hawk. Thanks. What's an Ice Hawk? Tolmatron. It rings at the end of the world. And Mundy shakes everything off her back. I think it all catches fire, too. It all made sense back then. Back when people were, like, wicked dumb. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. It's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Inventor of music. Nice beak. Reminds me of Germ. Ha ha. Germ isn't even musical, like, at all. He just plays the skin flute, which is weird. Don't act like. Oh, uh, Ice Hawk was that horrible 80s chick flick disguised as a sword and sorcery film. You're thinking Lady Hawk, static. Lady Hawk. <laughs> Yeah. How do you know? I think May's getting sleepy. Guys, we have got a few more constellations, though, to wrap our way around hey, the world. I like that movie. My dad also likes that movie. Oh, look at that. Um, um,. Kinoa executed by some king somewhere. Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you'd think, right? But in the story, she's portrayed as annoying. Like she was being a martyr. I still haven't seen Lady Hawk, and I really need to. About literally being martyred. They eventually put Sounds her. Sounds like an excuse for movie night. Sounds like an excuse for a movie night. It sure does, yes. What did she do or do Jeez! Geez? I know, right? Supposedly, if you put your head underwater in some river in Italy, she'll tell you about her murder. They renamed it the River of Guilt. But not like the guilt of her murderers. Definitely a niche movie. I discovered the Frisian horse when I watched Lady Hawk a million years ago. I hope I pronounced that right, but I probably butchered it, and I'm sorry. Pretty. More like she's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid. This constellation is garbage. Chop my head off. I'll bite yours off. Happy longest night, everyone. Moving on. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh. Oh, 
Fiona. Lucio. Oh, yeah. Who? What? Who? Lucio, the fox. They had to spare him to the ground to keep him down. Wait, keep him down? How so? You know, in general. You can see why this one is so popular. Ivan, the first singer. Ever see the opera based on this? No. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like 21 hours long. What? Holy God. And like a hundred years ago when it was playing in Bright Harbor, the stage exploded during the part where Ivan crashes his balloon into the world worm. Sweet! Was anyone killed? Like a lot of people. Oh. Listen, if you can't laugh at it, I have bad news about the rest of history. <laughs> Marmonodes, the little king. He was, um, a king who was little. I don't know anything about this one. Apparently a little king was big news back then. Okay, how do I put a screenshot onto a chat? I can take the screenshot with the button, maybe if it's actually doing it, but I can't find it anywhere. Not putting it here, trying to share some something with my sisters. Uh, you'll have to put it in the Discord, can't share pics here. Yeah, not here, somewhere else. Where are you trying to put it? Usually I just, if you hit print screen and you open up like MS Paint, you can just uh, control V to paste it in because print screen will copy it to your clipboard. I know on Windows computer, if you press the Windows button in print screen, it will uh, do a screenshot and it will save it. Or if you want to get real fancy with it, I think it's... um. Windows key shift S and you can select a segment of your screen to save. I think control V works for Google chat if you're on your PC. <clears throat> I don't think he was even supposed to be small. Stop the presses. So there's this king, right? But get this. He's slightly smaller than you expect. He wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky. I'm kind of short. May Borowski. Constellation. Nah. I feel like setting up a constellation for Napoleon. It's like, he actually wasn't that short. Everyone who picked the constellations are, is dead now. We got like two more here. At least. Or one really big one. I mean, yeah. Corvin, the thief, stole the diamond from the crown of Rubello, the fire breathing pope. Got arrowed to death like 200 feet from the palace. <laughs> so he didn't get to be a constellation for being a great thief then. He did not. Screw the man, steal our diamonds. Ah uh, yes, the revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. Possum Springs isn't the suburbs. Yeah, you need a city to have suburbs. We're in the dead center of nowhere. It's like a 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. Also, I'm 21. I'm not a kid. I think you're younger than me. I'm 21, too. We both have full-time jobs. Well, as close to full-time as they can get before they have to start giving us health insurance. Where's the lie? That's so true. I'll be 20 in like four months. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Aw, oh, yeah. The mice writers, inventors of written language. Weren't there supposed to be thousands of them? <laughs> Listen, there's only so much sky. The mice writers are my sign. That means you're thousands of geniuses. That means you're screwed. What? Mice are your snack cake. If you follow the food chain all the way down, you will find mice. I'm sorry, Greg, but your days are numbered. No way, man. I am forever. 
Wow. Well, that's all 13 of them. Yay, thanks, Angus. That was pretty great. You're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Well, let's go home. I want to plow you. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. <clears throat> I like to think I fill that role at the video store. Well, I should probably get home. Wait. Greg's a mouse? No, he's not a mouse. He's a fox, but he's... Mice are his... The, the mice are his sign. I just realized that I haven't hung out with you in years, B. What? That sounds like seventh grade. I had a huge fight when we were 12. there you were a massive jerk but why am i at a longest night bonfire with you because you just missed me so much wait are we actually in space but i'm warm and breathing what am i sitting on tyrannosaurus pattern what oh god i haven't seen greg or angus for a year and a half regret and emptiness Oh shit. I didn't go home for long this night. Laundry day. Apple juice taste from when you threw up earlier. You have to call home. You don't want to call home. It's too late to take the bus. What made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus. This is your new life. Is it still new after a year and a half? Underwear adjust. <laughs> Next year will be a new again. Next year will be new again. Leg stretch. Oh, come on. This is getting stupid. Am I seriously? Well, room's not going to call itself. Oh, shit. That was spooky. Spoop. <laughs> that was so heckin' cool. It was really neat. Oh, oh, we have <coughs> start a new game, options and extras. So I think my thought, now follow me here, is because I don't know if we'll get through the second extra. I'm going to call it a little early tonight, but tomorrow I want to hop into our extras with the um, <coughs> play Lost Constellation. Yes. We'll do Lost Constellation, hop into a new game. I want to do some more base stuff and also check out that computer game that we were playing that we didn't get to play much of. Oh, yeah. Do you know that protons have mass? <clears throat> I'm waiting for the punchline. I didn't even know they were Catholic. There is punchline. There is. Uh, <laughs> wow. What a ride, guys. Well, guys, uh, we have things we need to find out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to actually like get to bed at a reasonable hour tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for going through this with us. Tomorrow night, hopefully we get answers? Probably not, but it'll be fun anyway. So until then, thank you guys. Have a wonderful night. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Night all. Hashtag, what are they doing behind the bushes? Bye.